What's up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. In today's video, we are unboxing this life card. And I got this at my local gun dealership. Shout out to Coyote Creek. And as you can see here, you're thinking, Johnny, that is a very thin box. How could a gun fit inside of that? Well, that's a very good question and we're gonna find out today. And so I paid about $375. This is a 22 LR pistol and it's a single shot pistol. So it's veteran owned and this is called the lifeguard pistol. So let's open it up and see what we get. <laughs> oh man, this is very, very cool. So I got the Miami Vice color way, I guess you could say, because I thought, hey, that looks very discreet. It looks like a tiny wallet and you would never think it's a gun. So that's why I chose it and I love that color. So we'll look at that in a little bit. We'll set it right there. And inside the box, we get quick, we get this, a quick start guide, which is cool. And we get a manual and a life card sticker, which is kind of funny because that is, look how small that is. It's very small and compact. I'll throw this over here. Kind of looks like Baby Yoda, but this is the manual for the Lifeguard 22 LR pistol. So that's kind of cool. That gives you all of that, all the instructions, how to use it, etc. Put that off to the side for now. And here it is. This is the single shot 22 LR pistol by Life Card. And I imagine it's called Life Card because it literally looks like you put you would put this in your wallet it's the size of a debit or credit card maybe even your license and so here is the back of it um but yeah this right here is the charging handle this is the handle and this is the slide and it's kind of hard not to flag myself uh, but it's just so small and compact that i mean eventually i'm gonna flag myself but this is safe and empty so let's make sure what you do to kind of unpack this small pistol is see these tabs right here they have serrated tabs on this side and on the right side as well so you, what you want to do is grab both of those tabs on each side and then what you want to do is grab the handle and hold them down and push forward as you push forward this comes apart like that and when you hear that snap here, let's try it again so grab both serrated notches push forward and you get that locking click that click means it's locked and it can no longer go back in until you push those serrated notches back and you can fold it so there is the handle or the grip of <laughs> the single shot 22 lr pistol when you go to press the trigger it's not going well like i said this is the charging handle and you have to charge it but first you got to put around inside so what you want to do is see those notches again on each side grab the notches both of them at the same time. Now push back, grab your chamber or slide, and there it is. You can now insert your 22 into that single shot chamber and in the barrel. And just like that, you have a single shot use for this pistol, which could be good for self-defense, could be good for, I mean, pretty much just self-defense if you're in if you don't have a lot of clothing and you want something that will give you a single use shot and you're very capable of shooting a single shot, well, this is it. <laughs> and so just how you saw there, once you put your 22 LR, you just close it and you're good to go. And of course, what's left is the charging handle. So what you wanna do is grab each side of here on both sides, just like this. And that's kind of tough. Just like that, the handle is charged. Now I find that you can't really close it all the way. And that's kind of the bad thing. Like in order for this to be useful, you actually have to open it up and charge it or cock it, put it into battery and shoot it. So now let's talk about the trigger reset, trigger pull, all that stuff. So right now the charging handle is back and ready to go. Now let's push on 
that trigger. Now, as you saw there, there was barely any take up. Here's its reset again. There's kind of that play, barely any play in that trigger. So, and of course it's a single action, single shot. You can't reset that trigger by charging the handle again. So you have to let go of the trigger and then you have to charge, bring it back. Of course, take it out of there, put one back in the barrel or the chamber, pull back that charging handle. And let's see if we get any take up and play. Barely any, there it is. Just very hard to maneuver, but it's very loud and crisp. There you go. Now, one of the neat parts of this pistol is you have a little compartment back here to store even more ammo. So this little plate, just push on it and you could store even more 22 LR, which is kind of cool. If you're in a pinch and you need to reload and you have time to reload, this, take it out, grab one, put it back in, charge it, and, and there it is. This is the Life Card by Trailblazer Firearms. And I don't know, is this something that you would carry? Is this an everyday carry option? Is this something you would use? If so, what would you use it for? Please comment down below. I would love to know your uses, potentially what you would use it for. Now, could I see myself carrying this pistol? Now, let's say if you were on the beach and you had to bring something to protect yourself, this could be a viable option, right? This is obviously something that you wouldn't carry every day, but if you were in a pinch and you were going in a swimming suit, a bikini, whatever it may be, this could be something to carry in your, in your purse, in your pocket, just so you have that peace of mind. If anything were to happen, you have at least one shot and potentially maybe one or two, maybe three in this little compartment area. So there it is guys, the life card 22 LR. <laughs> so now we are gonna bring it back into its debit card, credit card configuration. What you wanna do is again, make sure that the charging handle is kind of in the rear position. You'll hear that click and that way you can get both notches again, push forward and bring it back together in its wallet shape configuration. So there it is guys. Would you run this? Comment down below. Would you buy this for about 400 bucks? Comment down below. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. You guys make this channel run and I very much appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe and like this video. And I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video.